ten right and wrong expressions in English. The words right and wrong are used in a lot of informal expressions and idioms in English. Today, I'll teach you ten of them. Number one, on the right track. If you're on the right track, it means you're doing something correctly or well. You are going in the right direction. This expression is often used for following a correct line of thinking. For example, he hasn't solved the math problem yet, but he's on the right track. Everyone hopes that the new president can get the country back on the right track. You can also use on the wrong track to describe going in the incorrect direction or doing something that is likely to lead to bad results. Number two. If you play your cards right, this expression means doing the correct things when using your resources to achieve a desired result. Think about playing a card game like poker. Yes, there is some luck involved, but if you use some skill in utilizing the cards correctly, then you can win the game. For example, if I play my cards right, I might get a promotion by the end of this year. Meaning. If I do good work and impress the right people in the company, then I might get a promotion. She's already mayor of the city, and if she plays her cards right, she could get elected as a senator. Meaning, if she performs well and gains popularity with the voters. Number three, it serves you right. We use this expression to say that someone deserved the punishment or bad consequence they experienced. It was their fault, so they deserve the negative result. For example, oh, you missed the bus. Well, it serves you right for being late all the time. He's a reckless driver, and yesterday he got a speeding ticket. It serves him right. Number four, his or her heart is in the right place. We use this phrase to describe when someone has good intentions, but the result is not very good, or they cause problems without intending to. For example, my daughter made a mess in the kitchen while she was making me breakfast, but that's okay. I know her heart is in the right place, meaning she didn't intentionally make a mess. She was trying to do something nice. Number five, right on. This exclamation is an informal way to express encouragement, agreement, or support. For example, what this country needs is a better educational system. Right on. In this case, right on means I completely agree with your statement. Here's another example. If your friend says, "I just bought a new car," you can say, "Right on. What kind is it?" In this context, right on expresses your encouragement or support, similar to saying "That's great." Now let's look at some expressions with the word "wrong." If you dial a phone number and it does not connect to the person you are trying to call, then you might have the wrong number. For example, "Hi, is Janice there?" Sorry, you've got the wrong number. There's no one named Janice living here. Number seven, get off on the wrong foot. If you get off on the wrong foot, it means you do something that makes a bad impression right at the beginning. For example, I got off on the wrong foot by spilling coffee on the boss's desk during my first day at work. Number eight, wake up on the wrong side of the bed. We use this idiom to describe when someone is in an unusually bad mood today. For example, the manager yelled at us three times before lunch. He must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed today. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so rude. Guess I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Number nine, don't get me wrong. We can say "Don't get me wrong" before expressing an idea that could easily be misunderstood, and we want the other person to pay attention and understand our specific feelings. This phrase is often used to make criticism less intense. For example, "I don't think she's the right person for the job." 
Don't get me wrong, she's a very nice person, but her skills just don't fit the position. In this case, don't get me wrong, is a way to express, I'm not saying she's a terrible person. The problem is just with her skills, not with her personality. Here's another example. Sometimes I can't stand my boyfriend. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to break up with him or anything, but there are times when he really annoys me. In this example, don't get me wrong, is a way of saying that I don't hate my boyfriend and I don't want to end the relationship. It's a way of softening the criticism and helping the other person avoid misunderstanding you. Number 10. Rub someone the wrong way. This expression means to annoy or irritate someone. Think about stroking a cat or dog. You usually move your hand in the same direction as the animal's fur. If you move your hand in the opposite direction of the fur, then it will be unpleasant for the cat or dog. Here are some examples. His comment that women aren't good leaders really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't think I could work with someone who holds such views. I like doctors who are warm, patient, and caring, so when I get a doctor who's obviously in a rush, it rubs me the wrong way. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on phrases and expressions with the words right and wrong. And if you want to learn more, then check out my complete program, which has more than 400 lessons inside. It will help you improve all the areas of your English, from speaking to listening, vocabulary, pronunciation, and much more. You'll get permanent access when you buy this program. There are no time limits. And when you buy everything, the complete program, you'll get a 35% discount. Click on the link in the video for more information.